going on guys? This is Mast and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing a little Robin in the jungle because I haven't been playing him at all for a long time and I think he's actually really good right now. Uh, maybe, I don't know, really good's a little strong. I think he's solid at the moment. I think he's normally not super worth playing. Uh, but with the fact that like all the items that you ideally want to buy on him have been buffed, I think he's looking a lot better at the moment. Um, but honestly, in general, I'm just, I don't know, I just don't think Robin's great for a lot of games just because he's pretty he's normally not capable of hyper carrying it's just you might get enough early pressure that things are good and that's about it man is spooked okay i'm assuming we just get these i didn't think it'd be apollo jungle i thought it'd be robin jungle it's robin support okay yeah that's not that's like the last thing i expected but but i guess it kind of makes sense they do have a weird team apollo jungle is really really common because people aren't creative they're like, oh, somebody played this one ADC jungle. We're going to only play this one ADC jungle and not think of our own ADCs to play jungle because they don't play those in SPL ever in feed. Right? Isn't that? I'm pretty sure that's what happened, right? Didn't didn't Apollo jungle get played one game? Excuse me? We don't get to fight this at all, but still, excuse me, you've got some nerve. Yeah, we really don't get Agni's kind of playing terrified right now, which is maybe fair, um, but he's playing terrified, so I can't just like eat wave to the face. Unfortunately, ironically, if he just like, if he just will go up and one shot wave with dash, we could actually fight really hard because I have more pressure than Apollo by a mile, but it's fine if we do this too. It's not too big of a deal if we lose a bit of pressure out of it. See, we might get a gank left. We're going to need the root back. It has a billion year cooldown for no reason. Nice. We get his three out of that. I'm going to try and save the three a bit so he doesn't get away. Okay. Just make sure you don't die, Nike. There you go. And make sure you yoink the kill with it, too. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I don't think that's why she did it, but but I'm still I'm still mildly annoyed because I basically could have soloed him. I'm still mildly annoyed. It's fine. Yeah, we can invade blue. I don't really feel like it. I don't really want to commit because Yorm's going to come back from base in time. I'm a little I don't know. We probably should have just done it anyways. We probably should have just done it anyways, honestly. I just want to farm up. It's kind of funny, man. One of the things that's weird about jungling um, and then a little bit stupid about jungling, I'm not going to lie, especially early game, is uh, it's actually it can in a way be bad to invade because even if we get the camp, even if we just get it away from them, so they get less farm and we get, you know, technically a little more farm because it slows down my farm because I'm spending time farming a camp that is worth less experience than our own camp, especially this early on, it can actually be a little bit bad. And they're actually like, especially like small camps and minis early on, like these two camps up here, I normally do not invade at all early game because it's genuinely a little bit stupid unless they are like actively about to do them and I'm denying them farm and it really matters that I'm denying them farm. It's normally just a little bit bad because I'm putting myself behind just to put them behind, you know, which kind of sucks, man. I really wish high res didn't nerf invade so hard. Like, it's nice to not have invade cheese early game, but, like, invades in general should exist, and it's stupid that they're that they're so neutered, man. They're so nerfed. Yeah, it looks like their dual lane's kind of fed. I don't know how much we get to do here. I mean, we might get to do a lot. I don't know. I don't really do anything to high him. Maybe I can just spook him off. Yeah. I think we want to be looking for Robin here. Because uh, cause we don't have a way to stick to... uh. That was troll. What? <laughs> what? I'm actually, how did that, what? Did I, what, did I root him? I ulted him, right? Why did he go in place? Unless he got like stuck, I don't know, man. I actually don't know what just happened. <laughs> good Sobek pluck. I don't know why he up downed in the Sobek pluck, but good Sobek pluck. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Ganking Chiron is, uh, or not Chiron, ganking Heim is absolutely miserable for us because I have two CCs and they do nothing. Two is three. So he literally can just three in place and dip. Um, unless I'm dumb. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. I'm 99% sure this man threes through roots. I could be misremembering. I'm pretty sure roots are one of those only CCs that don't, uh, they don't stop him from threeing. There are quite a few. Like, if you get feared even though you sit in the three, or if you get stunned even though you're in the three, like a lot of hard CCs, then you still get to do it. But I think any soft ones don't. Bully the Yorman Gonder. Whoops. I apparently cast that out of range like a bot. Not that it mattered, because he just pressed four. Damn, he's actually really spooked. Dude, did he get his blue buff? I don't know if he did. God, I don't know. Do I even go Crusher on, on uh, Robin? I probably should have gone Jotun's, huh? Yoink. Nice try. I'm assuming we, we probably should have gone Jotun's. Robin's one of those characters where early game cooldown actually applies to the fights he's actively in, which is kind of rare. 
Normally you rush cooldown on characters on Assassin's early game so you can ult more and stuff like that, which is still decent for him. But our one cooldown's just low enough, and especially the way we play is, uh, like, sticking to people enough that we can actually get multiple ones off if we get lower cooldown. Which is pretty nice. I'm actually juiced on farm, man. We're about to level 7 already. Apollo's sitting at red waiting. Like, still? <laughs> I'm assuming he means that's where he was. <laughs> like, no, he's going He's going for the second blood, too. He's just going to keep sitting there and see how many times Agni comes back. That actually would be pretty funny. Oth is dashing on cooldown, by the way. Ooh. You gotta love those. Gotta love, the, love those inting Thoths, who's not gonna do it right now. Who's also gonna be nowhere to be found right now. They have a word, or is he just... Oh my god, he actually just dashed off cooldown. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna trust they do damage. Yep, we're good. Uh, uh, it's good that we didn't ult. Man. I was button mashing my one so hard, waiting for it to come off cooldown. A little unlucky. Check this out. Check out us clapping this Robin real quick. Hold up. Can I please? Thank you. <laughs> He's getting stuck in the wall. Man, get out of here. Oh, I, I, dude, I, dude, oh. Wait, okay. I, I, <laughs> you can literally hear the kick go off. And so I am actually, wow. That's actually so wild, man. I genuinely don't understand. Robin 2's instant. I don't know why I did that. Unless I'm, I mean, unless I'm missing something, unless there's like a tiny little window where it's not, I think we just got fucked by lag. That's my boy right there. You can hear the sound cue. It's not like a laggy ability or anything. We literally should have just tooed, and because we tooed, we should not have gotten ulted. Rendering him CC and damage immune, it says. Hmm. Hmm. You sure about that, high res Huh? I'm not so sure. I pressed the ability, I did the thing, and I was not CC or damage immune, and it would have saved my life, and it wouldn't have been close. That's unfortunate, dude. What sucks, too, is I literally played that shit so well, because I waited for Heim to ult, because I thought I could react and make the play, and then I did, and then they're like, but you didn't, though. <laughs> it's like, oh, I, I got it off. I heard, I heard the thing. I heard the magic sound that tells me I got it off. Nope. Nope, that sound has no meaning. We definitely don't just play that when you press the ability. All right. Well, we might go kill Thoth again. Take out some of my high res aggression. I don't have ult though. Stop being cheeky. Oh my god, I hit so much harder. Okay, can I, boys? Can I have him? Can I have the boys? He's gonna ult on me for this. Big heals. Okay, those were not big heals. You need cheeky Apollo. Damn, I'm actually surprised they could be that aggressive there. At least Ogni beat Robin's ass for it. That's cool. I, like, I, I didn't really think they would have that much CC, which is really mostly just Apollo. But they did have that much CC. Let's see. Let me let me just tilt this game. I'm going to intentionally tilt myself by ganking Heim off cooldown and trying to two his ult. I think that's a good play. Wait, is he dead? Okay, Chiron choking hard, but he did clean it up at the end. Be dead! Okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> big Jukes? Oh, Big Jukes! Oh! I don't think he gets killed for it, right? There's no way. I don't think Agni has the damage. Yeah, Agni's just kind of killing himself. Oh! Big pluck, though. Oh, no. Okay, Mannequin's almost put in some work, my God. Oh, no. He got kind of memed on. Damn, Agni had some Chad energy right there, didn't he? My God. Dude just dashed into an Apollo point blank with with no abilities up. Just like, I win this. <laughs> I win the left click trades. That's what Agni does. Yeah, it sucks. I really wanted to make sure Robin died. And then, of course, the moment we ult in, there's an Apollo ult. Because why wouldn't there be? So, that's not too bad, though. I do wish we had kills, man. I do wish we'd actually be getting these last hits we're putting in all this work for. Not really there. That doesn't really matter too much. But I feel like most of the kills we've been a part of, I've done most of the damage. And it would be nice to have the farm that we put in that damage for, you know? Would be good. All right, we're actually just going to back right now because we have our Jotun's money. And Jotun's is going to put in a lot of work. Okay, let's see. We actually want to go Erendite on Robin, huh? I feel like there's so few characters I build Erendite on lately. 
but it's probably mostly because I don't play that many actual junglers lately. I think it's literally all there is to it. <laughs> I feel like, like normally when I play jungle, I don't want to play an assassin because it feels really normy. And so I've been playing a lot of weird stuff. I'll play like mages, especially hunters. I'll play a lot, play a couple warriors, but especially warriors that aren't commonly played in the jungle. Like no, no Erlang, no Osiris, none of that. See, we might get a gank Heim here. I mean, he's going to press three. He's going to do that thing he does. We do get ult in a sec. Oh, yeah, he just worded. Oh, and I just... Oh, my God. I'm a... <laughs> God damn it. I thought the minions were dead, so I wanted to run through lane, and then they weren't dead. Yeah, he backed. Okay. And there's not even a purple for my trouble. God damn it. Hang on. I actually might just get a... I wanted to just kill Thoth. Nice. Min max the damage. Man, I thought oh, it was so close. If he was that tiny bit closer, I think we could have landed both. I'm not sure if the one got off in time. Oh, he tried for it. Wait, what the hell? Man, I actually can't go in here, can I? Sorry. Okay. Are you kidding me, dude? Okay. <laughs> I didn't two yet because I thought I could two out of the two. Then he just insta kills me because I'm assuming, yeah, he has he has gilded arrow, and you totally can't tell by the fact that I never die to his autos there unless he has gilded arrow. Damn, but what happened in that fight, man? Like Heim from out of nowhere, ults poor Ogni, right? Isn't that who he ulted? Sobek gets kind of fucked on. I have to leave to not die. Yorm just happens to be there for some reason. That is a rough one. And Nike's focusing the support. Someone on the other team got owned. That is a hell of a combo. Damn, I want to say, uh, I want to tell her that Robin's support, but I don't know if she's going to take it badly. Because I think she just might not know. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, because there were other people she could have killed that would have been a lot better priority. And I'm assuming she just thinks Robin's jungle. Because I don't think there's been an Apollo in early and early. But then if she takes it bad, we inflict mental damage to the team. Well, to her, who's part of the team, and that's bad. And then if she ever sees me do anything ever she doesn't like, then she BMs me, because that's how Smite works. And then that, that makes it, like, heat up, because I'm going to BM her back if she BMs me. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of things you got to think about when you're when you're playing MOBAs, huh? You got to juggle all those mental games. Okay, I know that you want your blue buff and all, but no. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit him with that, but that was kind of cool. Hey, we immune! Ooh, hi res, take notes! Next time, make it happen with the high mold. Next time, let's do that. Alright, uh... Do we get... Who do we fight right now, man? I can't really go on Thoth, because they're like... If I go on Thoth in these fights, my team just gets bullied. So I have to deal with other people. I don't know. Just, you know what? Just get the fuck out. Get out. Stop. Stop it. No. Bad. Wait, we might, might go bully Yorm. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It feels pointless to fight right now. I feel like if I go on anybody, I'm going to end up dying because they're going to focus the shit out of me and I just don't want it. Why are you here? <laughs> Dude, what is happening? Why? Do we have walls to know where the jungle? Why Why would he gank right now? I actually don't understand, man. <laughs> That's so random. Are we getting vac banned within 24 hours? Okay. Okay. Like, I don't know why he ever ganks Nike there. That's so random. That sucks, dude. I hate not being able to do things as jungle. I hate it so much, where we just get like out-rotated to shit and out-pressured on shit where they focus me so hard, so I just have to focus on not dying a lot of the time. Oh, that's unfortunate. Man just jumped my entire kit, huh? There we go. Yeah, it sucks so much, man. Ooh, actually doing Fire Scorp so we don't need to later when it matters the most? Nice. That's probably a good idea. That's probably pretty clever. Alright, well one big thing for us is we actually start getting deeper into our levels right now. We're going to actually get points in the ult. And then as the, we get points in the ult, we get a way better ult. 
One of the things that's a little bit dumb about Robin, it's kind of honestly like a big issue I have with him as a character, is high res has toned down his ult so much early game that it's basically shit. It's actually garbage. Um, you can live pretty well with it, so that's nice, but that's not the point of playing Robin. Like, it used to be this big all-in, be tanky, be scary, run away, run away or die type ability, and now it's like, well, it's an ult, technically. And that's about, that's about it. Like, it does some damage, it CC immune jumps, the mitigation's pretty irrelevant, the damage sucks, the cooldown's long. Pretty rough, man, pretty rough. But as we get late game, it actually gets good, which is what it used to be always. Alright, we do have Erendite done now too, which will actually help a lot, since that just basically buffs our ultimate a ton. Getting zoomy after we ult on somebody is actually kind of terrifying on Robin, because so often we're using the ult to chase people down. Bop. Ooh, we get the XP. Somehow. I don't know, I don't know how I reach that. Wait, yoink. Ooh. Actually, let me do it to him. Is he mad? Not mad? Wow. Damn. I don't, I don't get to do anything here. I'm just going to go run right lane. Like, they know I'm there. They have more people. I'm just going to go fuck off. Ooh, Heim, though. Hang on. Little damage test, maybe? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're getting awfully sneaky here. Okay, never mind. No, we're not. Well, that's probably down for a while. Unfortunate, man. I honestly, I could have looked at the map. I thought Draugr was up, so I, I thought he was actually going to go do Draugr. <laughs> but instead, he was just, apparently, he had a three there or some shit. I don't, I don't know. That was, why did he go there for it? He could have just done it in lane. Maybe he didn't know that? I don't know. Maybe he needed to buy time. The cooldown just happened to be coming up. Big ol'! Man, get out of my way. Give me that ass. I was wondering where Yorm went. Damn, he's really just gonna leave his boy? Oh, he's not. Well, you should have left your boy, even though you do a billion damage. My god. Yeah, can we do big? This might be uh, just us dying. Because Thoth is coming, and we're all low. And this might be a terrible call. Actually, I don't know. I do have Robin shields. That's pretty OP. Maybe we're fine. Because at least I can tank a little bit then. Okay, please no Thoth ults. Please no Thoth ults. Well, he tried. Wait. Is he dying? We're probably gonna get Apollo ulted, huh? We're probably gonna... Oh, Nike. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't want to die to Apollo ult was the big thing. I mean, she just kills him, so that's cool. I'm so, why, why aren't we getting Apollo ulted, though? Like, it has to... Oh, there it is. Damn. I honestly, uh, I kind of fucked that up a little bit. I was thinking, like, I assumed early on we'd be getting Apollo ulted. I'm just leaving her. I'm not trying to, uh. <laughs> I mean, I'll come in a little bit for Peel in a second here. Oh my, that's so unlucky. We're dead for that. Wow. What happened to her? Why did her jump not go off? Uh, I don't know, man. Unfortunate. That's actually crazy unfortunate. Yeah, her jump like didn't go off. Don't worry, champ. I'm sure you helped. Yeah, I don't know. We got really trolled there. I got body blocked. I don't remember if I I, I don't know if it was just actual body block or if it was body block that would have happened or that wouldn't have happened if she had jumped. Because if she if that was true, we also would have killed Apollo. But the big thing I was I didn't expect Yorm to be there, and Yorm's one hundred percent the reason we die there. Yeah, unfortunate, man. See, I think we'll grab a little Hydras. We're gonna end up overcapping cooldowns super hard, but that's okay. Because we do want to go bump his hammer. Hydras are kind of weird on Robin. Um, we don't have a good auto for Hydras, but we do end up autoing a lot between abilities, so... It's something where it's not nearly as worth, but it still just kind of fits the kit. We actually just did this. What are the odds we get to kill him? His ult's still down, right? Maybe we just force his ult. Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave him be. 
Yeah, it sucks, man. I really thought, it, like, I assumed Apollo would ult early enough. I don't know if he was actually big brain and waited for people to catch up to him, or if he's potato brain and just took forever to ult for no reason. But if he ulted us right away and didn't have, and people wouldn't have had time to rotate, then we actually would have won 1v1 to him super easy. The only reason I didn't is because Robin was there. I just didn't even try. Yeah, a little late, my man. A little late. Time to dunk on some Heim. Excuse me? Oh, he broke it himself. With Oboe. <laughs> okay, we're dying. Aussie is balanced. Nice. Yeah, Aussie's not why we were dying. Okay, Aussie's kind of why we we're dying. It's not it was not what did the damage, but we could have just run up and killed him if it wasn't for Aussie heals. But I knew, I knew that lifesteal was gonna break my break my game. So we had to shit our pants a little bit. I'm finally getting level 20. I feel like I've farmed so little this game, so we're kind of behind where I normally am. Apparently first at level 20 though. I guess both teams have just been brawling a lot. I don't even know. Oh my god, Nike, you're still on this? <laughs> we got Tower and Phoenix and <laughs> is she just not hitting it ever? I assume she'd been hitting it and just stopped to clear wave. I actually don't know now. Yoink. Yeah, stop it. Yorm? You better not. You better not. I'm assuming Nike's gonna chill and not get picked. Uh, okay. Sobek, I'm, I'm leaving him, yeah. At least he knows. I don't know why he went for a pluck there. <laughs> That's okay, though. It shouldn't matter too much. God, how big brain is it if we sell this right now? Probably not very. I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it anyways. It's a thousand gold, but we trade out for way better pen. Normally, it's something you only want to do once you're full build. But we had like perfect money for it. Because we don't need the cooldown at all. We still have we still have full cooldown now. Yeah, actually, honestly, it was probably it's probably decent for power spike because we would have had to buy a tier two. Hang on, do we get to do stuff? Oh, that's unlucky. Of course, of course, he ults in place so our ult doesn't hit him because he didn't chase. Nice. If we didn't bead through that, we were so dead right there. Okay, apparently that puts me in combat. That's too bad. I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh. Okay, I didn't think he would reach there. Whoopsies. Didn't think he'd reach. Also didn't think he'd do 400 damage, but he's actually building a lot of damage. Yeah, I was hoping we could actually uh, get like a more impactful blink and potentially juke something. And then I just, <laughs> and then I could have used it and I didn't think we'd have to juke. So, rip. Man's got some range, doesn't he? How does it reach that far, man? I swear, I feel like when I play Yorm, the one doesn't actually reach that far because it casts for too long. But maybe he's just closer than I thought he was. I don't know. All right, we're probably going to go straight up serrated and just go full pen. I don't know. Fizz D would be good, huh? Like a Nemean or something? I don't know. Nemean suck. I guess Void? Void would be good. Unless Nike has it. She does have it. Fuck. Spectral? Wait. So this guy builds crit on the god that has potato crits, and this guy doesn't build crit on the god that has really good crits. Maybe Berserkers? Uh, let's just go, let's go Spectral, man. He is going Deathbringer too, so it's not going to be quite as impactful, but let's just go Spectral. Although, I don't know, with Heim passive, it'll basically make it so the crits get nerfed about as much as they do when you normally don't have Deathbringer. Nice, they actually get that big. I probably shouldn't have stopped to do this. I don't really know why I did. Hi. Beat his ass. Beat his ass, abuse Bombas. Okay, come here. Come on. Beat his ass, abuse Bombas. Okay, I'm assuming somebody got high molted. Wait, does that actually mean he's close? How long does... <laughs> I'm a detective now. 
It's actually really funny that it worked out that way because he totally just lazy bagged. Okay, can we abuse Bumba's enough for this? Well, almost. And he lives at one HP. Wow. I think if I auto canceled a little harder, we actually could have done something there. What? Sobek? Oh my god, dude. Why are you like this? Not, not Sobek, but the minion. Oh, you got a pluck? No? Okay. That's too bad. I think he had it. I think he just didn't want to get me killed. Oh, now they want to go in. I'm going to go heal. Now we're a little out of sync with the boys, huh? Let's see. One thing I, uh... Oh, whoops. One thing I, like, never see people do is, like, miss abilities on purpose to Bumba's heal. We totally could have done it right there. I wanted to come back soon enough that I didn't want to commit to it, but... It can actually be really helpful for sustaining back up. There we go. We did it. Look at that. Wait, do I just Bumba's through you? Do I Bumba's through you both? Kind of doubt it, huh? Yeah, we're just going to die. Yeah, he's just going to catch me eventually. Wait. Wait a minute. Damn, I wanted to juke the Yorm one there. Did we actually kite? Oh my god. Oh my god, I did him dirty. What's up, bitch? I'm back. Bing. Bing. Get him, boys. Alright, well, there might be an Apollo ult soon. I don't know. I'm gonna try and save my two. How did I kite them that hard, man? <laughs> I actually don't understand. Like, we barely got out of range of Robin and Yorm's stuff, and then, uh... What was it? Something was gonna catch me. Running towards team goes well? I mean, yeah, I literally would have died if I didn't do it earlier. I knew Agni was coming, but I didn't want to kill myself like a bot. But thanks for the tip. God damn it, dude. God damn it. And this passive-aggressive fucker... It's almost like once I got all of their CC down and turned, it went well, because I actually knew what I was doing. Wow. Wow. Alright, uh... Do we even need this, man? I built it. I really don't know if I need it now. It's pretty expensive to sell. Stay focused. Attack middle line. Yeah, I feel... I don't know. Whatever. We're gonna commit. We're gonna commit. It's fine. Hang on, let me actually upgrade these. Yeah, I don't know. I like. I kind of feel like in some fights we absolutely don't need this at all. But at the same time, we hit plenty hard. We have full cooldown. We don't really need more pen. At least not too badly. I don't know. Honestly, I probably should have just gotten another void shield, man. Maybe I just shouldn't have gone spectral and got another void. It's really not that big of a deal. Okay. Really did just happen to die right then, huh? Man, he actually gets out. That sucks. Am I going to reach you? Well, Arendite put in work, but me missing abilities did not. Oh my god. Stupid Robin's little mini autos with absolute potato range. Boys, can we actually do the thing? Whoopsies. Yeah. I guess we gotta waste our two for Bumba's so we can actually sustain up. It's kind of clunky. Takes forever to cast. Nice. Dead. I do want to run at the Heim, but Apollo is spawning. Yeah, if Apollo wasn't coming up and my boys had any HP, we'd go for it. But they really don't have any, do they? The hell are these pluck interactions, man? <laughs> Fuck it. Nice. Yeah, honestly, I think if he reacted sooner, I think he would have been fine there. I think he actually could have gotten out with a three. But he didn't. Bop. Wait a minute. Now, what are the odds we kill Thoth? He's not going to troll, right? He is going to troll a bit, though. 
Gonna troll just enough. Damn, Bombas is kind of broken. Huh. <laughs> like, we really did- we really did buy Bombas and just start winning the game. And right now, because our team is all over the place, we're not even actively winning the game, but we're just bullying them in their own base. But I, I do like a little TDM. Come here. Let me beat that ass. Wait, Apollo's up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoops, I trolled. That actually could be pretty bad. Oh, wait, he's still scared, though. Oh. Yeah, I, I was just hoping, man. That was the only way that we could have killed him. It didn't go off in time. That's too bad. What I honestly should have done, I should have gone absolute hyper chat and just ulted Apollo. I don't know if he was in range or not, but I should have done it anyways. Because I actually think if I if I instantly ulted on Apollo right then, I think we actually probably could have just killed him. See, we might get ulted here. Nice. All right, well, we got elixir money, so that's cool. Yeah, Apollo's still no crit, huh? By the way, if you guys are going to go ADC jungles, unless there's like a reason to go mannequin, just go Bumbas, man. Mannequin helps a little bit early game with damage. It, it nerfs your clear a lot. Like if Apollo goes and clears a buff with his one, a lot of time, for one thing, it won't kill it, and then he won't get good sustain because he doesn't have Bumbas and he has to proc mannequins and it won't. So like it slows your clear. It doesn't up your damage that much. And then as you get later in the game, it doesn't really help your damage. It doesn't really stand out. And you have to go, like, Hidden Blade or just the really shitty Mannequin Scepter. So just go, like... I mean, you can also go Eye of the Jungle, but just go Bumba's, man. Bumba's Spear Lake game is actually good on ADCs. Um... I really want to do some Chad shit. And we did! Yeah, look at that Hydras, man. Even though our auto chain sucks, we still got a 420 auto right there, so that's cool. Actually getting some value out of it. Robin, let me beat that ass. Come here. All right. Do we finally win, boys? Is this finally going to wrap it up? I think so. Ooh, Sobek. My God. <laughs> Damn, they really had to do him like that, huh? I didn't really help out, so I just plopped a little word in base. Figure, figure that made my impact. Damn. Well, we actually got some work done there, huh? It's kind of ironic that I talk about Robin not being able to hyper carry, and then it kind of feels like we hyper carried. I really don't think he can. I think, uh, I think he does get super punished when you play more around it, but they just didn't focus. At least late game, early game, they focused the shit out of me. Early game and mid game, but late game, they didn't really focus me enough because they were too split and too scared. So we did get a lot, do a lot of dirty stuff since we have a billion CC immunity and we can just run at people 1v1. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.